Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're going to be looking at everyday carry keyring flashlights, specifically the Rovivon Aurora 24. This is a thousand lumens flashlight, which uh, fits in the end of a keyring. It's made of titanium and it's really quite nice. It retails for about £85 in the United Kingdom or $100 in the US. Um, this model is probably one of the most powerful um, flashlights in the world for its size. Um, we're going to be unboxing it, looking at the specifications, uh, hands-on usage, and I'm going to be comparing it to the LED Lenser P7R. Both of these are 1000 lumens. And I'm going to give you my final impressions on whether it's worth buying as an everyday carry um, accessible flashlight. Out of the box, the flashlight comes in a hard back case. You get the flashlight, a lanyard, a secondary lanyard, and then a micro USB charging cable. It comes with a small um, user manual and a warranty card. Pretty much um, typical of any other torch. Okay, some of the specifications. 1000 lumens, uh, Cree XP L LED. It's got about 150 meters of throw, uh, 5800 uh, candela uh, intensity. Uh, it's made out of titanium, uh, TC4 to be exact, which has high strength to weight ratio and is very um, corrosion resistant. So you can use this in water, no problem. Um, it's got a built in 600 mAh battery which is rechargeable via the supplied micro USB cable. Maximum run time is 72 hours. That is on the minimum mode, which is the nighttime one lumen mode, uh, which you can use for map reading and things like that. When you're using it on turbo, which is the thousand lumens, you're going to get about 60 minutes. It takes 60 minutes to charge from zero to 100%. It has IP68 rating, which means it's dust resistant, dirt resistant, and is submersible in water to 2 meters for 30 minutes. It's 76 millimeters in length, weighs 60.8 grams. It is quite heavy in the hand. Other features, it's got a pocket clip, a lanyard hoop, and it's got the one button operation. The functions, you've got um, quick on and quick off by pressing and holding the button. That is turbo mode. There are seven primary modes. Turbo mode, which is a thousand lumens. You can run for 90 seconds uh, before it has to cool down, but it will run for 90 minutes um, on a complete charge. You have high mode, which is 700 lumens. Medium, 170 lumens. And low, which is 40. And then you have the nighttime mode, which is one lumen. You also have SOS and strobe. So it is quite functional light. However, if you're using it uh, a lot on the high and the turbo modes, it will drop down the power levels as the heat builds up. Uh, this is built into the flashlight and it can't be overcome. How does the Aurora 24 stack up against full-size counterparts, such as the LED Lens P7R? If you look, they are totally different in size, but identical in specifications. If we turn them both on. LED lens Rovivon Rovivon off As you can see the Rovivon is much more compact It's much easier to carry It's something you can have on you all the time Whereas the LED lens is more of a purpose driven uh, flashlight Whereas you're deliberately taking this with you somewhere Final impressions, excellent design, best suited to a key ring use. Excellent build quality with premium quality uh, materials. The brushed aluminium really sets it apart from the competitors. Um, it is really quite nice in hand, um, fits the hand really nice. Clever design with the uh, multi-use button. Um, you can s select all the different features of the, of the flashlight. And it has a memory mode built in, so it remembers um, where you set off previously. Um, it really is quite easy to use. Um, it has good battery life. Um, quick and easy to charge. 
very expensive for 85 pounds considering the led lens uh, can be bought for about 50 pounds ultimately this is going to be for somebody who wants the best uh, flashlight available and something that's compact and they can just put in the key ring um obviously if you're going out somewhere where you need a torch there are larger more powerful uh flashlights available such as the Imland dx80 um but for something that you can always have available this is probably one of the best flashlights on the market. It's certainly one of the most powerful I've seen for its size. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, please comment, like and subscribe. Um, next week we're going to be looking at the Night Core uh, portable power bank. This is a waterproof uh, 5000 mAh power bank. Um, I'm going to be testing the performance and how many charges you can get on an iPhone and uh, putting it through its paces in water. To see